Hey guys, it's your boy Expert Labs coming at you again for a little review um or rather a little um video about the North Face uh, bags. Specifically, I want to talk about the no the North Face uh, Base Camp duffel bags because um I've been using them for a while. I actually like these bags a lot. But uh, I have a few problems with them that I think that the North Face could actually um, improve upon. And actually, they're not even problems related to the bag itself, but rather to uh, the company, the North Face. Um, and I think that they haven't been like this always. You know, I think it's a change that has happened uh, recently in their organization. And yeah, I want to talk about why I'm really disappointed in them, why I really, um, I really hate, uh, the way the company works, why, why I'm really frustrated with, um, with the way they do things right now. And it's very basic. It's very simple, actually. So before I get into the, the whole detail, before I, uh, I jump into the actual video, I would like to uh, remind you that you guys can uh, smash that, that uh, subscribe button, okay? You can uh, hit the bell button also. You can hit, hit the bell icon because I'm going to be uh, pumping uh, lots of new videos in the next coming days, next few days related to lifestyle, traveling, dating, fitness, health, and gaming. So um, I think you should really, uh, it should be really worth it to subscribe because of all the content that's going to be coming out. Okay, so now that uh, we got this over, let's jump into the actual video, all right? So what I want to tell you guys is that um, the way I see things, okay, a bag like the base camp, a duffel bag, is very useful because of uh, multiple um, factors. So but first of all, it's actually very... Um, very uh versatile in the sense that you could use it uh, depending on the size to go to the gym you could use it uh for your daily activities even for school you could be using it for um you could be using it for traveling you could be using it to move you know so there's so many different things that you can do with it with these bags uh depending on the size of them of course um i think that the size large ones are very uh, good for actually um for actually um, being used as um, checked luggage on flights because they fit the, the actual requirements. A size extra large bag would be perfect for moving, you know, for moving large amounts of uh, clothing when you're moving to a new location. Uh, so yeah, clothing or, or other types of material, other types of even tools you could move with these, even for work in certain cases, if you need to 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 move tools, you know, for these, um, for these purposes, the bag would be great. And, um, if you're, if we're dealing with the smaller version, the size is small, um, uh, not the extra small, but the small, the small size is actually really good to be used as a carry on bag. Okay. Some people say it's, it's not because of the size of it or because of the dimensions, but if you check the actual requirements of most airlines, such as Lufthansa or Air France, you know, or British Airways, or um, even uh, low-cost airlines such as Ryanair and EasyJet. The size of a small duffel bag base camp from the North Face is actually uh, the right size to fit um, as a carry-on luggage. All right, guys. Um, then what I would like to add um, is that... Um, if we're dealing with the size medium bag, it's perfect as a um, as a gym bag and also as a daily carry bag because the size is just perfect. I mean, the size small would be better for like the office, but um, if you're going to carry like a, a laptop and school supplies and all that, and on top of that, some gear for the winter or some, yeah, some, clo some winter clothing, or some gym clothing, you know, especially if you get a spare pair of shoes, then I would definitely recommend that you get the medium size because the medium size is going to be able to pack, to pack all of these uh, items in there uh, while the small one would not be, okay? Now, the size medium bag will most likely not fit uh, as a carry-on bag unless you don't pack it full. Because one of the huge advantages of the base camp bags is that they compress 
uh, down to pretty much nothing. Okay, so if you don't fill up the bag completely, it's going to be able to compress and fit as a carry on bag, even though it's the medium size. But that's going to be your um, responsibility to actually make sure that it fits as a carry on. So you're going to be having to deal with this uh, with this new hurdle, with this new problem. So I would just recommend that you get the size small if you're going to uh, use it as a carry on bag. Okay, so that's my recommendation. Now, what I want to tell you about the um base camp bags is that the base camp bags can be carried as a back like a backpack okay so it's a duffel bag with a huge opening you know the ease of organization that it offers but on top of that you can carry it on your shoulders on your back just like a normal backpack which means that you're going to be able to carry it very easily which is perfect to get through public transportation for example or through get uh, through stairs for example which is going to make it a million times better than an actual su- suitcase you know so that's uh, the practical aspect but these straps okay are a key point of the bag without these backpack straps you know which are removable actually the backpack cannot function and they are removable, so you can lose them easily, potentially, you can lose them, okay? And guess what? The North Face customer service does not provide you with any option to buy new straps, okay? So the only thing that they actually allow you to do is if your bag is uh, less than two years old, okay? If uh, you have a proof that you bought it uh, less than two years ago, you can get uh, it fixed, or uh, you can get the whole thing replaced or completely fixed, okay? Because it's going to be under the warranty, but you need to have that proof that you bought it, okay? It doesn't have to be a proof from the North Face. It can be a proof on another site, but you need this proof. It is absolutely key. If you do not have this proof, you are lost because you won't be able to buy these backpack straps. And as far as I know, I've looked up on the whole internet and nobody manufactures these straps, Okay, even though they are very simple, you would have to go into some custom shop and get them custom made. Okay, and this will cost you an arm and a leg. Okay, it will cost you at least 50 bucks. Okay, and this is where I'm really disappointed with the North Face. Okay, because these backpack straps they are very simple to make, they, they are mass produced. Okay, they're not that difficult to make. Okay, so don't, don't tell me they're actually difficult to make, but the North Face, you know. Instead of uh, identifying this uh, this issue with this bag, this uh, key point with the, with the bag, they just choose not to. They just choose to ignore the needs of the customer, of the um, of the actual consumer, of the user of these bags. And on top of that, it's terrible for the environment because imagine your bag is more than two years old, and trust me, a base camp duffel bag after two years of use, it's not gonna be beat up at all. Okay. These bags last forever. They are super durable. They are made out of some ex- excellent, tough, rugged material. So after two years of use, your bag is going to be perfectly intact. But imagine, imagine you lose the straps after having it for two years. What are you going to do now? Well, you don't have a choice. You're going to have to buy a new one because that's all you can do. Okay, You can just buy a new one because the shop uh, that makes the, the custom straps is just, it's just going to charge you an arm and a leg for them. Or potentially you could buy a used bag, you know, in order to uh, basically cannibalize the straps from it. But that's also going to cost you a lot of money. So, yeah, the North Face is really um, cheating the customer in this uh, particular setting, in this particular case. And I'm really disappointed in them. You know, and I think that what they're doing is also really bad for the environment because think about all the people who just throw away their bag just to buy a new one be- just because one of the silly straps broke or because they lost one of them, which can happen very easily, I think, you know. So, yeah, uh, altogether, I'm disappointed with the North Face. I think they should really change this um, this uh, policy of not selling spare parts because it's silly, it's bad for the environment, you know, it's very... Uh, it goes against the image the image that they want to project as a brand and i hope that my voice will be heard about this matter because i'm i'm really invested in it i love the north face uh, product especially this type of bag okay i think it's a great product but you know they really have to change their policy about it because 
it's just silly guys okay it doesn't make any sense all right that was it subscribe to my channel